Hey, good morning. It's Tuesday and today we have a very busy day. We're gonna start with recording the intro and trailer for our brand new video Mastering the Model Shoot Part 3 Creativity and it's an awesome video. I'm really looking forward to your responses and it's gonna be available probably today or early tomorrow and right after that or Probably, as time looks now, I first have to do the other thing. I have to go to the optician to check my eyes and my glasses because we now have the Cintiq and I want to be able to really dive into my work and that actually means that I probably need a little bit more power underneath to get a little bit more close-up view. So, and the cool thing about our optician is we actually did all the photos you see in his store. So, I'm going to show you that too. And this afternoon we're going to do a webinar for our friends from PhotoWow about fashion and street photography, the combination of those two. So it's going to be interesting and I'm sure you're going to like today's episode. So enjoy! Okay, so I have my mic on and the camera is ready and I can see myself in that monitor and you guys can see me now filming this. And we're ready to do the intro for Mastering the Model Shoot Part 3. And that means that now first we have to do white balance and of course exposure with our color checker passports for video and this is actually the big color checker for video. These things are really nece necessary to make sure that your cameras are performing the way that they should be. So if you do several scenes you of course want the same color in every scene so this is why we use these. And if we use more cameras we want to make sure that camera 1 is exactly the same as camera 2. So if you're into video make sure you check out one of these or the smaller one they're called the passports. And we already know them about, uh, we already know them from photography right? And these are the video ones so there's a little bit bigger. So Anubik are you ready? Yes, we have to do the cameras also. Okay, so we're gonna do that now guys, so I have to turn this one off. Okay, going to the optician. And some really cool pictures. <laughs> dat is zwart-wit. Creepy ja. shots. En dan even op uh, kleur zetten. Dat spreekt natuurlijk ook tot de verbeelding. Oh. It's Fungus. like Mars. It's the fungus of your eye. Oké. Okay. Yeah. Is there alien life on Mars? Uh, <laughs> by you I see something uh, that's not good. I think it's a, a spoot uh, referral to the uh, ophthalmologist. Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, we so, see. Uh, is it saveable, doctor? Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. Mm. <laughs> so, Fair, you got some new toys? Yes, I've got some new toys. This is a hard start right from uh, Switzerland. Awesome. It's the newest in uh, the Netherlands with a uh, digital uh, recording of the eye. It's, yes, it's the, the golden standard in uh, ophthalmology. Awesome. So. Virtual reality glasses to check vision. And the old fashioned stuff, and this works way better, in my opinion. Okay, I'm gonna watch uh, on the video monitor to the eye of Frank. We have a narrow slit, and with this slit, we can make a uh, coupe of the cornea. Yeah. So now we have a nice slit, yes. Looking very good, Frank. It's a little bit redness, but it's maybe uh, you have gone a little bit late to bed. Right. Now I'm gonna make a nice, yeah, now we have a nice scoop. Very nice. Okay, thank you. Awesome, huh? <laughs> that looks nice. So that's my eye? That's your eye. Cool. And the slit, you see? Yeah, that's no. the line of light. 
that's the line of light, but uh, wait and see. En uh, dan zal ik je laten zien wat, uh, dat kun je nu nog niet zo goed zien, maar deze. Hier is hier zie je ook een slit. Yes. Dat is de koep of de cornea. Oké. Okay. Je ziet nu, this, this one. Dat is een uh, doorsnede van je hoornvlies. Dus Oké, okay, a cut through of the yeah. cornea. Zal ik het met andere ogen nog beter te zien als ik hem vergroot? Even wachten, dan. Uh... Kijk, nu zie je hem goed. Dit is eigenlijk gewoon het doorsnede. Dus als okay. hij, als hij iets niet goed is, dan zie je dat. Zie je? Dat is het doorsnede, die linkerlijn. Awesome. Dan zie je dus de top van je hoornvlies en de. Nice, hè? Huh? Nice, very interesting. <laughs> Okay, I'm back in the studio and my eyes were, of course, still okay. Whew. But you still have to check those every once in a while. Now, I normally go there once a year just to let my eyes check out. And, well, if you need glasses or you need different glasses, at least you know. And otherwise you will get headaches while working behind your computer. So it's very important to do those checkups. So I'm now back in the studio and what I'm doing now is I'm working on the pictures from Rosendaal from Nadine. And of course, in the meantime, watching some television on the other screen. So we're retouching on the Wacom Cintiq. And on the BenQ I do the color grading. Now at the moment I'm working with a plugin called um, Intensify from MacFun, which I love because it gives you a nice pop on all the images. And actually, we are going to give away some Mac Fun uh, apps, so watch out for those. And in the meantime, Storage Wars on that TV. Somehow I can't really retouch with music in the background, I always like to see something. And I don't even watch it really, but it's, you know, it's just there. So, okay, I'm going to continue working. And then this afternoon we're going to do the Photo Wow um, live broadcast. Okay, so Anna Week is now setting up the cameras for our photo wow broadcast. And of course we're going to start with the white balance, which we do with a color checker from x -Rite. There we go, so that was white balance. Now I'm going to turn it around, and in the camera Anna Week is now actually going to set up the zebras, so she knows that the exposure is correct. And this is really a handy tool guys. If you do video, make sure you get those. Because it's an amazing tool and it's very easy to set up. Okay, so Enoic is now using the bars to set the exposure correct. So of course you can set exposure on the video camera the same as on your normal camera. So you use ISO, aperture and of course shutter speed. Should I show and them? Oh, you can uh, show them, yeah. And of course you use zebras. So Enoic is now gonna pick up the camera and gonna show you how the zebras look. So this is with the zebras. And then I... You see, they're disappearing. Now they are here again. Okay, now this is a very, very frustrating part. Uh, we did all the editing for the new video on the Mac, and normally we also create zip files on the Mac. And we heard from a lot of the PC guys out there that they couldn't open the zip files, whatever they tried. And the weird thing is, on the Mac I can open them without any problem. But indeed, when I copy them to a PC, we often have problems. So what we're now doing, if we release a new video, is actually we copy all the files to our PC and create a zip file over there with 7-zip in this case, because that's a free available piece of software. And we're creating actually three zip files, so part 1, 2, 3, because we also found out that some people with smaller... Uh, with smaller internet speeds have problems downloading a full file of 9 uh, gigabytes and this is actually clocking in at 9 gigabytes. So yeah, I just wish there was a solution where we could do all the zipping on the Mac but now we have to work like this. So we're creating now the zip files on the PC and then uploading them in just a few moments for you guys to download tonight. So when you see this video it's probably already available and if you didn't know it's our new video Mastering the Model Shoot Part 3, all about creativity. So make sure you download it. It's really, really an awesome video. And I say awesome way too much, but I just love the word. It's awesome. Okay, so we tested extracting these files on the Mac and that works. We extracted them on the PC and it works. So now we're going to upload them and then you guys can download it. So you see, it's a lot of work to get everything working on every single solution. But hey, 
we love to do it for you guys. Okay, we're 10 minutes away from the broadcast and what we're actually doing now is a speed test to see if everything is okay. And that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna go to YouTube. I'm gonna start the live event. And that means that I can see what you guys are asking me. So we go to the channel and then actually to the live events. And that means that we can actually see a whole list of the chat room. And you guys can ask questions during the broadcast. And Anna Week, of course, is here behind her computer. And she will be monitoring everything. So it's going to be fun. And it's going to be a one-hour session for Photo Wow. So I'm very curious to see how this works. It's very simple. We have just one camera on me. And, of course, wire cast running the same we do in Digital Classroom. And, of course, the live stream. So we're going to start. So I'm going to prepare and enjoy, you guys. And if you didn't see it, well... It's on our YouTube channel under Digital Classroom. We just finished the Photo Wow uh, Digital Classroom Special Edition. And it was supposed to be one hour, but we ended up at 96 minutes talking about travel street and fashion photography. It was awesome. We had a lot of interaction with people. And that's what I love if we see that people ask questions. So I'm now going to make a backup of the recording just in case something goes wrong. And we're going to put some images online and then we have to add our new instructional video to our web store. And that's not that easy because we actually have three locations where you guys can buy. You can buy from the store, you can buy via direct video downloads and you can buy a digital copy on an exhibition. And then you get a code which actually is uh, also working on the website. So that's what we have to do now. Actually Anna Week has to do that now. And I'm now going to make some backups and then I'm going to help Anna Week put it in the store and release it to you guys via a mailing. So we also have to make a mailing and we do that in MailChimp by the way. So, lots of stuff to do, <laughs> but the broadcast was awesome, and I think you guys really enjoyed it. Now, if you missed it, it's on our YouTube channel, and you can just watch it back. It's in the Digital Classroom folder. And guys, there we go. It's now online, our brand new instructional video, Creativity, Mastering the Model Shoot Part 3. You click this link, and you go to our website, and there you go. And you can purchase it here. And it's only 35 euros. And it's more than 85 minutes of instructional material. I'm very, very proud of this one. And I'm sure you guys are going to love it. So head on over and download Mastering the Model Shoot Video 3. Okay, I'm going to go home now. going to prepare a mailing for you guys. And after that, we're going to kick back, relax and watch a movie. Hey guys, of course, I can't go home without announcing the winner for the license this month for Alien Skin Exposure X. Now, we got some emails in and some stories and some reasons why you should be using Alien Skin Exposure X. And, well, it was very hard to choose. And at one point, I just closed my eyes and just went through the emails and just picked one. And the one I picked is all the way from Mexico and his name is Jorge Aloser. I hope I can pronounce that correct. Jorge Aloser from Mexico. So congratulations you are the winner of Alien Skin Exposure X and next month we're gonna give away another license. Now because you guys love giveaways tomorrow we're gonna give away a free app from MacFun and it doesn't matter which app you can choose it yourself so tomorrow I'm going to ask you a question and probably give you a small assignment and then you can participate in our giveaway for MacFun. But for today, congratulations Jorge from Mexico and you are the lucky winner. Now guys, I'm really going to stop now. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Behind the Closed Doors and remember, thanks to Patreon and your support there, we can continue giving you guys free stuff. Enjoy your evening and well, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.